Hello guys, thank you very much for joining in. Hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and I also help and guide students who are preparing for the FRM, the CF exam. So one of my students who has been able to clear the FRM level 2 in the November 2022 attempt, uh, Amisha, she is going to be talking to us about her journey of preparation, what all challenges she faced and how she was able to clear the exam. So with this, let us start the discussion. Amisha, thank you very much for joining in. And a uh, few things that you, if you could give to the audience, when did you clear your level one? Okay. And obviously you were not with me for level one. You started with me for level two. Okay. So when did you clear level one? When did you started your preparation for level two? And what was your background around then? What were you doing? Thank you, sir, for inviting me here. Um, so I cleared my level one in November 2020 and uh, no November 2021 and uh, FRM journey started uh, for level two I started preparations in Feb 2022 and uh, like I took classes a bit early because I had some spare time in my hand um, okay. currently I'm in my last semester of my graduation I'm doing bachelor of management studies uh, from University of Delhi uh, okay. And also, I'm interning at Protivity India currently. Okay. So, for uh, level two, I took mm -hmm. around six, seven months of coaching. And uh, the syllabus was vast. Like, it was very vast. So, I guess... Okay, when you started... Months, we... Okay, one second. When you started, which book you started with? I started with Market Risk. Okay, you completed the entire... And you were also attending our lectures, live lectures. Yes. Side by side. So, so market uh, risk. Yeah. Credit risk. Then we uh, went ahead with, uh, I guess, investment risk, operational, liquidity. And then last May we did current, current issues. Hmm. That's what, yes. So when did you complete your first reading? The first reading took me around July, June, like June and July, first week around. It took me like, um, I guess current issues were still left, but five books I was done with. So roughly around four to five months, it took me to go through the first reading. But uh, what the problem I faced was ki, what I read in the start, I was not able to recall. And it was just like a brush up that had happened in the past months. Got it. Got it. But this is the nature of the exam because you have around 100 chapters. So, you can the first chapter. Because the moment you read more and more, the clarity is more. And you are in the flow yes. of preparation. So, and after like, June... Yeah. Ah. yeah, please. Last 3-4 months are very crucial to, you know, pass the exam. 4-5 so yeah. months start are just for, you know, getting the hang of it, getting in the mode of studying and giving time to people. Got it. And so after June, uh, Jul July mid, you had completed everything once. What were you doing after that? You started solving the question back? I started reading the chapter again, solving analyst prep with it and also go uh, doing BT. Like my approach for doing BT first time was okay, I need not to attempt 100% of it. But, um, I am sure okay, I won't know like 90% also. But just to know what I know, I went ahead with doing AP BT. Like for uh, AP, I would say ki, uh, it was good for level 1, but level 2, I felt it was very repetitive questions and not necessary that one can even skip doing AP. But if hmm. you have time in ha hand, you can do AP. First razor, if possible, AP, otherwise BT. Okay. That's the three and, questions. And with this, so how much time did it took for you to complete everything, the solving of the chapter wise questions? So like around September end, I was able to uh, do one or two readings of each chapter again and solving okay. like 70% of the question banks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And till this, till this point in time, your internship has not yet started. No. Okay. And My main focus was FRM at that point. FRM. Okay. And then when you started with the first of October, what were you doing after that? I was focusing more on BT. Like um, 
first time accuracy was around 50 55 percent then it um, increased to 70 percent i was more focused on doing solving practicing bt because the level that uh, one what i had heard from my uh, past experience like from my peers that you need to do bt at least twice so yes okay. i was reading again because that is the only key to level two read revise and practice so that was the three fundamentals i was following wonderful and how many mock papers you solved and what is the average score I sorted around six, seven mocks, like Schweizer two mocks, two AP mocks. AP mocks I did not solve as a mock. As a proper mock. Okay. A, no, I did not solve those. Two Schweizer mocks, two BT mocks, and like uh, one, uh Garp mocks. Sample uh, paper. What was the score in the Garp, Garp sample mocks. paper? Garp Roughly. sample paper. It was around fifty-five. Out of 50 eighty, fifty-five. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So when you had completed the mocks, okay, uh, what was your confidence level? It was not very high because mocks may the uh, like my accuracy was around 75%, 70-75%. And that too, like I was not able to recall formulas. I was little weak on formulas. So yes, but yeah, the confidence was different from what I had in J July. And what I had in October. So yes, the, those three months I built up my concepts. Got it. And when you went to the exam on the day of the exam, what happened? I mean, first one hour. Like first one hour, uh, I was able to solve around forty questions. Mm -hmm. So like uh, my paper was done in two and a half hours. The rest one and a half hour I was just revising. Wow. Yes. Okay. Like two and a half hours, me, mera seventy questions ho gaye the. Okay. So, uh, what I faced difficult was like market and credit risk were difficult for me. Investment was easy to crack. Operational me again the problem is that you are stuck between two options. But yes, they picked a few lines. You chief risk officer ka role, um, all the levels of defense. And like common chapters, I made sure that operational me jitna bhi padhu, achhe se padhu. Because like forty seventh reading and forty eighth reading I skipped. First two three readings of credit risk I skipped because I did not feel that were important. But yes, operational risk the only key is read. Like you also told me ki just read one chapter a day. And with market credit whatever I was doing, I used to make sure ki one chapter I used to read before sleeping. Just read, hmm. and yeah. operational because, may they picked up lines. Hmm. Liquidity may also they did the same. So you have to be, you have to be, your mind should be that quick to recall those lines and kahan padha tha wo click hona chahiye. Got it. Got it. And especially for operations because they're so vast. कि आप वैसे भी first time पढ़के आपको याद नहीं रहने. So just read ही करते रहोगे तो recall value बहुत strong हो जाती. When you go for the छः सात बार तो read करना चाहिए. Like four five times also works, but depends how much time you have. Right. So now when and you came, market credit operational are the most important books. If you crack those, then last three books may quarter you put niche ho jayega, chal jayega. My main hmm. like point of note was ki market credit operational may have to score very good. So okay. liquidity investment padha, but teen char bar padha. Market credit operational. Bar, 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 bar. Point of okay. interest. Yeah. And then, uh, abhi, jase, for example, uh, exam what was the average uh, number that you had in your mind? Ke itna aage hai? I was around 55, 60. Hui jayenge, and okay. like, what, uh, what I had uh, experienced ki, there were many questions that others also got, like same questions. Level one, mein aisa nahi hua tha, but there mm. were many questions that coincided with my peers. So we were able to cross check our answers. Yeah. Got it. Got it. And uh, the idea ye hai ki aap, uh, with respect to the uh, theory and the calculation, what is the bifurcation in your paper? I guess. Numerical was 25 questions, 25 questions and rest 
55 questions theory to numerical easy tha straight forward tha numerical easy tha like direct formula i guess three four numericals were bit tricky but the rest were all doable all doable okay so your fear hai like, calculate if you if you focus on the formulas and if you understand ki kaise use karna then you will be able to do that those questions yes i guess numericals to matlab you should not miss those you should be able to score in that because everyone works on numericals so theory is the differentiating factor but at least not try to lose marks in numericals got it Apne, wonderful for numericals what i did was ki once or twice i twice i gave a formula test wrote all the formulas by my myself that is the only key i yeah wow numericals now ki I... practice kam milegi bt mein bhi and ap schweizer sub mein just just ki wo formula hi bar bar padte formula hi aapko yaad rakhne wonderful abhi uh, when the results came out what are the quartiles that you've got so in market credit operational i've scored first quartile in investment liquidity and current issues it is second quartile second take it so when you started out uh, i think so your reading of the first three books helped you a lot jo aapne bar 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 read yes. kiya yes wo aapko and swager was the main book that you are you are referring yes. to yes i did not turn to garp because it was very vast and not like very confusing also garp few like their language is not easy to comprehend so i preferred swager mm. the whole got journey it. Yeah. got it perfect and now uh, if i would ask you three tips from your own experience how to prepare for the exam what would be those three First, tips you would be to focus on concepts like watch videos if you are not clear on concepts exam won't be easy for you second practice as much as you can give mocks give question banks and test yourself third would be revise formula and work upon operational risk liquidity risk just read it as much as you can and yeah you would be able to crack it wow wonderful now what has been the reaction of people jab abhi aap dono exam first first attempt mein nikal gaye what is the reaction <laughs> it was very good everybody is proud and i am also proud of myself let's see what future holds let's i'm sure this what... certification is going to bring a lot of opportunities for you into the risk space and other areas within finance and your journey of preparation is going to be motivating for a lot of other students to go ahead and give the level 2 exam as soon as possible because a lot of people they skip they think ki main baad mein dunga now guys has limited. introduced thrice like up now you can give in may august november yes so if august you are planning week. to um uh, not delayed i think august is a good attempt to go for yes che maine mein padh ke aap aaram se problem is people are not consistent so when you said last 3 months ka consistency that i think so they should give for 5 important. months like june july mein during my summer vacations i was doing an internship so wo consistency thodi break ho gayi thi but i made sure ki last 3 hmm. months i have to give my best shot perfect perfect wonderful i am very happy uh, on your success and definitely this interview is going to be very motivation for other students to prepare for the exam they will get some guidance uh, in their journey and thank you very much for taking out time and talking thank you amisha